suspects in a bank robbery and high-speed police chase on the city's north side are now in custody. We have been following this with you for the past couple of hours. It all started with that robbery at the Fifth Third Bank at 86th and College, and the chase came to an end at 75th and College. RTV6 reporter Drew Smith is live there right now. And Drew, what new information have you learned? And Metro Police now have both bank robbery suspects in custody. It took about an hour or so for Metro Police and the FBI to track down the second suspect. What happened was, after a crash occurred, he ran off into those woods behind me there, right by Williams Creek. I'm at the corner of 75th and College, and just to the north of me is where all this went down. It was about 4 o'clock today when that compact car driven by the two sus suspects heading south on College following that robbery around 4 o'clock today, and they're doing construction on college at Williams Creek there. One of the workers told me that she saw the whole thing. She said she saw the suspects crash their car at a high rate of speed into another car. Then one of the suspects got out, ran into those woods, trying to avoid police who were chasing him down. Metro police and heavily armed FBI agents tracked down the second suspect. Cheryl Batliner told me exactly what she saw. They've got one guy, yeah, and uh, that guy is still did you see that one suspect actually running through the woods over well, there? Well, he must have made his way up the hill because that red brick house, he was uh, he was going going along the edge of the house. He had a green sweatshirt on, and then he apparently must have took it off because the next time we saw him, he had a white T-shirt on. So, yeah, you know, they'll get him. So once again, those suspects were traveling at a high rate of speed, heading south on college here, ran into another car, just rear-ended that other car. I talked to the driver, a young lady of that vehicle, just a moment ago, and she said that she's actually doing quite well. She feels okay and really wasn't hurt. Her airbags did deploy, but she said she's feeling okay and didn't have to go to the hospital. This could have been especially bad because when this the whole thing was happening, kids were getting out of school, and school buses in this area had to be rerouted by police because, of course, the manhunt was going on behind me right there by Williams Creek along College Avenue. Drew Smith reporting live on the north side, RTV6.